I love bridges. Hello everyone, Thomas Blue here again, back for another review. This review is on the Thomas Wooden Railway Suspension Bridge, released in 1998. This destination had a fairly short life, being available separately from 1998 to 2001 separately, and surviving as part of the bridge and tunnel set until 2002, where it received an updated traction rail design as opposed to the clickety-clack track design. This destination had the SKU number of LC99325. The back of the box reads, On the island of Sodor, Thomas the Tank Engine and friends experienced many adventures and learned valuable lessons. The Thomas Wooden Railway System brings Thomas and his friends to life. From the simplest layouts to the most complex, the Thomas Wooden Railway System grows along with the child's increasing ability and creativity. Crafted from high-quality wood and other durable materials, this classic toy will delight children for years to come. The box this destination comes in is quite large, and the destination is split into several different pieces, making for easy storage, yet also making it easy to lose just one piece. Since I acquired this item used, I eagerly set it up before this review in my room, and I'd be lying if I said it was quick for me to set up. It took me longer than I'd care to admit to figure out how this went together, and that's one of the small nitpicks I have with this piece. You can only assemble it one way, and if it's not assembled that way, well, it's not going together properly. Nonetheless, when assembled, this destination looks absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful destination that really shines in late 90s wooden railway glory. While not at all similar to the suspension bridge that would later appear in Thomas and Friends, it is a very nice looking destination. The artwork on this destination is brimming with life, and the destination itself is full of charm. This destination seems to be about the length of three 6-inch straight pieces, one 8-inch straight piece, and one 2-inch straight piece. <laughs> Basically, it's a very long destination. An engine can go over the long rickety bridge, across the flexible track, which was a novelty at the time, as well as through the very aesthetically pleasing tunnel at the center of the bridge's base. One further nitpick I have about this piece is that due to the flexible track, an engine can easily derail and slide under the handrails of the bridge if you're not careful, which is a feature which will become quite annoying unless you are trying to intentionally have accidents happen. Nonetheless, it is a great piece, especially when brought to life with other engines, helping to bring the island of Sodor to life.
I feel that this is honestly a really cool destination of the Thomas Wooden Railway that isn't talked about enough. Even with its few faults, it looks absolutely amazing. But hey, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you think of this destination in the comments below. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day, everyone.